I messed up real bad, Ma. I don't know how one person can make as many mistakes as I do. I guess it's the only thing I'm actually any good at. Every time things are going okay, I fuck it all up somehow. I really thought maybe things would be alright this time, eventually. But then I ruined it all. We finally sent Aunt Thunder back to hell, and I even got Grand Sword enchanted, so it'll take care of Thunder even better next time she comes around. We were starting to make some headway figuring out this rose disease that's causing people to get sick and dragons to go mad. We, uh, mostly delivered a letter from a member of the Order of the Weave to their colleague in the city of Briar in exchange for their research into that weird family crest Thunder had on her. The letter's recipient, a green dragonborn named Blazin, was missing though. I even found out King Jax has a secret sweetie. At first I was happy just to hear some fun gossip that turned his ears red, but... The more he told us about her, the happier I felt for him. I'm real glad he has someone to care about like that. And I was real glad to hear he was going to try and reconnect with her in some way. He deserves to have someone good to care about him like that. I might have ruined everything for everyone now, though. I was just trying to help, Ma. These guards in Maywood, they almost killed a woman and her wife just for stealing some food. We tried to fix it to stop them, but the guards just wouldn't leave them alone. King Jax and our questionable new ally, a tiefling named Ton T. Tenderlove. They had to kill one of the guards to stop him. And I killed the other. He'd surrendered, Ma, and I killed him anyway. I was scared if we let him get away, he'd come back for the couple we freed later on, haul them both away for good. I was scared if he got away, he'd tell others what King Jax did, and they would come for him. So I stabbed him. Five years ago, I ran away from Aunt Thunder and Da when they tried to make me kill someone. I abandoned you, Ma. You and Da and Breezy? I just left y'all behind instead of killing then. And now, I did it anyway. I fucking murdered him. He wasn't even armed. I didn't even know his name. And I don't have the excuse of being possessed by a Rakshasa like the rest of the clan did. I did this all on my own. I didn't need a devil to make me do it. Our family may not be evil, but I'm scared I am. I'm glad you're not here, Ma. I'm so sorry. Chase.